So Baker Mayfield played significantly better. We kind of alluded to that. Um, here's Baker Mayfield talking about uh, the way he played uh, against the Chargers. I thought we were efficient in the past game. We just didn't make the plays we needed to. So, I mean, it's I'm not going to be happy about it. We didn't win the damn game. So that's, that's truly all that matters to me. You know, I'm going to be hard on myself regardless, and um, I didn't do enough today to win the game. I know it's still really early in the season, but did this have a little bit of a playoff feel to it? It did, you know, in somebody else's house, uh, obviously a loud environment. Um, I, I thought, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a team that's a playoff caliber team that, you know, we're probably going to see down the road. So well, we just got to take care of business and uh, see what happens. And Scott, it's kind of interesting people, you know, coming out saying oh, Baker Mayfield cost them. There are so many things you can point to in that game. Um, yeah, Baker Mayfield didn't get it done late, but the defense didn't get it done. There are just a number of things. It's never one thing um, in a football game. Never. No, it's not. And, you know, when you list the things, is Baker on that list somewhere? Yes. I think he's probably way down that list behind about 10 defensive things, you know, and probably even behind the punter. So, um, but I do think it's fair to talk about Baker in the final two minutes. And, you know, can he go win a game when he has to? It didn't happen against Kansas City, and it didn't happen against the Chargers. Now, there are other factors, you know, they're losing both games. They're out of timeouts. They had two backup tackles in. Um, you know, they don't get a call on the one, uh, you know, he wanted an interference on a Donnie Peoples Jones play on the second last possession that they had. And maybe that erases the, the need to go down and score in the last 90 seconds. So there's a lot of factors, um, but it'd be nice. And I think, I know the fan base would feel better if Baker had one of those games where he went down and won it. Like that Cincinnati game a year ago quieted some doubts because he went and won the game. And I'm not saying the Browns are set up to do that a lot because they run it so much and, you know, they rely on their defense a little bit. But you need your quarterback in these kind of matchups to go win games. And Justin Herbert played better. Baker played well, but Herbert played great. And Brandon Staley said after the game, if you're going to win a game like that, you need your quarterback to be a superstar, I think is a phrase he used. And he's right to a degree, right? You need your quarterback to play huge in the biggest moments, in the biggest games. And Baker did for a long time. He didn't at the end. I'm not even saying it's his fault, but you need to see that eventually um, against the better opponents. And then certainly when you get back to the playoffs. Yeah. If you expect to be a team that's challenging for the AFC, there are going to be games that Baker Mayfield has to do that in the fourth quarter without question. 